hand size, partially polished specimen uh, or, or uh, artwork, let's say, from the, I suspect we're looking at Mashamba West here, or even Tenke Fungurumu, perhaps Tenke Fungurumu because of the associations. But what we have is uh, cuprite, you see the silver metallic material, then you have blue, different shades of blue. Now, uh, uh, on, on a quick estimate, maybe some is Azerite there, you'll see the differences of the blue, and some may be the Butkenbachite, just from uh, associations. Uh, a lot of cobalt and calcite in this particular piece. Other associations may be minor chrysocolor. Um, and then of course the, the material here, if you look closer, you'll see it's, it's almost uh, uh, opaque. So it's, 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 it's almost three-dimensional on a look. So from a display point of view, could have it going around on a turntable like a huge piece, uh, uh, hand sized, a little bit beyond the hand size, actually a little bit bigger. Look at that section encrusted by the maybe Azurite and maybe uh, the uh, uh, Batkenbachite. Um, this would be more uh, open section, the pink, of course, of the cobalt and calcite. Super large, I wouldn't say tumble, this would be a, a healthy galet from the. Uh, was from the copper mines of the Congo. This guy has been polished, um, as you can see. Lots of lots of uh, uh, cuprate here, and of course the famous red cuprates from the the Katanga. With strong lighting, you'll be able to. They are almost gem see-through red, with very strong lighting. This is a very interesting section. So from a display point of view, have it on the turntable going around like this. So various, various aspects. And if you enjoy less color, um, this section is pretty much undertone of pink with a little bit of the cuprite and the uh, uh, running through.